good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The ancient carrying church of Western Armenia was left to the whim of flag. Stand next to Artsakh. A telethon will be held on December 10. Russian President Putin, Armenian Prime Minister Pashinyan and Azerbaijani President Aliyev will meet on November 26 in Sochi. France and Armenia view Azerbaijan's aggressive action as undermining democracy. The letter of the representative for Armenia to you and to the attack of Azerbaijan was published in an official document on the Security Council. Today is Monte Melkonyan's birthday. Interview with the child of Western Armenia, Keti Kundakchan. Zanvel Karapetyan's book, History of Armenia. A half-ruined Armenian church in the Karnin province of Western Armenia and hundreds of large and small caves are waiting to be explored. Locals call this church a monastery. Only behind the wall of the church destroyed by the treasure hunters, there was a wall. One of the residents of the quarter spoke about the church as follows. At a time, the Armenians left this church stable and complete, but our great ones destroyed in their time. I think that if the church is reconstructed and included in tourism, it will be favorable for our village. This place is also a gorge, which offers a beautiful view of nature. There are hundreds of caves, ancient buildings, it worth visiting and seeing it all. The Center for High Technologies and Strategic Planning of Artsakh Foundation will hold a telethon on December 10 under the title Stand by Artsakh. December 10 is not foreseen in the sense that a referendum on the independence of Artsakh was held on December 10, 1991. On the same day, 50 years later, the constitution was adopted. This day is also a human rights day. The main mission of the foundation is to contribute to the restoration of the disrupted socio-economic reality in Artsakh. In this context, the entire amount collected during the marathon will be used to support business and startup ideas aimed at the development of Arta. The meeting will be held on initiative of the President of Russia. It is planned that the leaders of the three countries will discuss the implementation of the agreements reached on November 9, 2020 and January 11, 2021, and outline steps to strengthen stability and establish peaceful life in the region. It is also noted that special attention will be paid to the development of trade, economic and transport links. Last week it was announced that Pashinyan and Aliyev agreed to meet on December 15 in Brussels. After this rumor spread in press, Russia was trying to organize a summit before the meeting in Brussels. After the second Artsakh war, a ceasefire was signed between Azerbaijan and the Republic of Armenia on the initiative of Russia, but numerous unsolved issues continue to cause tension. The president of the French Senate, Gerard Larcher, received the Armenian delegation headed by the chairman of the National Assembly, Alain Simonian, in Paris. The press service of National Assembly of the Republic of Armenia reports. He said that during the meeting, the site discussed the shelling of Armenia strongholds near the village of Norabak in Gevar Kunik region a few hours before the meeting with the Azerbaijani armed forces, as a result of which an Armenian serviceman was killed. The president of the French Senate noted that they are closely monitoring the situation in Armenia and are well aware of the post-war developments. The Armenian side in turn highly appreciated the resolution adopted by both chambers of French parliament condemning the Azerbaijan-Turkish aggression against Artsakh. The side noted the importance of the peaceful settlement of the Artsakh conflict under the co-championship and mandate of the OSCE Minsk group. During the meeting, the side also discussed the urgent solution of post-war humanitarian problems, including the returns of the Armenian captives of war. After the meeting, the Armenian National Assembly and the French Senate signed an agreement providing for multipolar cooperation between the legislative bodies in the name of the friendship and solidarity of the two countries. The letter of the permanent representative of Armenia dated November 16, addressed to the chairman of the UN Security Council regarding the armed attack of Azerbaijan on the territory of Armenia, was published as an official document on the Security Council. This is reported by the permanent representative of Armenia to the UN. We present the document on our official website. Montemel Konyan was born on November 25, 1957, in Visalia, California, in an Armenian family who had escaped from the genocide of the Armenian people and settled in the United States. At the age of 20, he entered the University of California, Berkeley, and graduated with a double title receiving certificates of specialist in archaeology and Asian history. While studying at the university, the Armenian Student Union was founded. In 1978, he entered Oxford University but did not graduate and went to Lebanon participating in a civil war about three years in the defense battles of the Armenian quarter in Beirut. 
Since May 1980, he has been the chief military trainer of the Armenian Secret Army for the liberation of Armenia as Salah. On November 27, 1985, he was arrested in Paris on charges of forgery of passport and explosives and imprisoned until 1989. In October 1990, a number of documents of the production of Artsakh was signed. In 1992, he was the commander of the Martini Defensive Region. Until his leadership, Martini became the most protected and combat-ready region of Arta. Monte was killed on June 12, 1992, in the vicinity of the village of Marzili Agdam region. On Western Armenia TV, the son of Western Armenia, Kezi Kundakchan, presented the details of her visits to Western Armenia, focusing in particular on the visit to Hamshen, where she met with Armenians, talked with them, get acquainted with their way of life and preserved traditions. Armenian culture is mainly preserved in Hamshen, attaching special importance to songs and dances. Dear compatriots, among the book History of Armenia created by Samuel Karapetyan and four volumes already published, we will soon hand over the publication of the fifth dedicated to the province of Erzurum, Hanus. A subscription to the specified volume has already begun, the deadline for which is December 31. Those interested can subscribe by making a transfer to the funds account or simply by visiting the office of the HCU Foundation. The subscription fee doesn't include postage. The book will be present to the reader's decks in 2021, in February. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song Tamzara. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.